So this gigantic guy walks into town and casually devours over 600 sheep, washes it down with a massive pot of wine, and get this, he's still only half full. The minister standing nearby immediately started crunching the numbers, panicking about how long the village food supply would last. Seeing their worry, the giant decided to show the king exactly what he was capable of. He picked up his enormous hat, went down to the seashore, and gave it a gentle shake. The villagers watched in absolute awe as hundreds of tons of fish tumbled out of it. He dumped all the fish on the ground, and the grateful people fell to their knees in thanks. Next, to help the village thrive, he started pulling up massive trees, root and all, handing the saplings over to the people. Not only that, but he single-handedly cultivated 30 acres of land with his bare hands. The king was totally blown away by this power and humbly offered him food, along with a request. Our enemies are incredibly strong, the king pleaded. Will you help us defeat them? The man, deciding to repay the villagers' hospitality, immediately plunged into the ocean. In no time at all, he reached the enemy country. As the giants started tugging their boats to haul them back, the enemy king grew suspicious. He instantly ordered his soldiers to attack. In a flash, countless arrows and boulders were fired at the man, but the torrent of tiny weapons simply hit his body and vanished, leaving him completely unharmed. The soldiers watched helplessly as the man towed their entire fleet back to the small country. Overjoyed by the victory, the grateful king commissioned a special gold emblem and presented it to the giant. As long as you wear this around your neck, he declared, you are welcome to come and go in our land. However, the king's feelings quickly turned sour. The man kept helping the villagers and people started calling for him to be their new king. Seeing his own throne in jeopardy, the king secretly issued an order, get rid of this man. But before he could execute his plan, a fire suddenly erupted in the palace. The king panicked, his life was in danger. Just then, the giant took a huge gulp of water and spat it onto the blaze. The fire was extinguished, but the king's dignity was utterly soaked. Furious, the king screamed, kill him now. The man was deeply disappointed. He thought, I helped them so much, yet they betray me. Disillusioned, he left without a fight, rowing his boat away. Slowly paddling, he set off on a journey to find his wife. Soon after, he reached a small island. There, he spotted two figures sitting down, both as large as him. He ran towards them, filled with joy. But as he got closer, he realized they were just wooden effigies. Before he could make sense of it, a gigantic black shadow suddenly began to loom over him from behind, 